What's up, Stars Saigon Starka here, and welcome back to Spider-Man 2. So I finally platinumed the game, I got 100% on the story mode, finished every side quest there is, collected all the spider bots and etc. And yeah, I have 100% for both Peter and Miles suits. So finally, I'm going to be rating them out of 10. So to keep in mind, alright, so obviously there's variants and styles for the suits, but I'm going to be ranking the suit based on its, you know, design on its own, and then ranking the color palettes or styles individually. I'm going to start with Peter, and then make my way to Miles, of course, but yeah. Alright, so the first suit, Advanced Suit 2.0, I mean, easily a 10 out of 10, obviously. Uh, it's a step up from the first Advanced Suit, and certainly is, you know, iconic. Do I think that the first variant style is the best one? Absolutely. But the rest of them? Okay, so I rank the second one, honestly. I don't know, it's like, I like these two, I like all four of these, actually, but, so, uh... Alright, so first style is going to be number one. Second style, honestly, is going to be number two. It, It's really a debate between these two, though, for what gets third and fourth. This was my first style I unlocked, but... Uh, I'm going to have to put the yellow one, the fourth one, in third place, and then this one in fourth. Not that there's anything wrong with either of these suits. Uh, it's just the fact that I just prefer the yellow one. Moving on to the black suit... 10 out of 10 easily, looks super realistic, great design, uh, somewhat simplistic, but at the same time it looks, you know, of course, really, like, realistic, like I said. It looks like they put a lot of effort into the suit. Symbio suit, easily 10 out of 10 as well. I mean, like I said, realistic, uh, definitely detailed. Yeah. The anti-venom suit, I mean, like, I could give this one a 9 out of 10, but, like, I don't know, it's alright. It's, it's, it's a 8 out of 10, I'll say 8 out of 10, yeah. I mean, like, it looks super detailed, right, and realistic, of course. Every, okay, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Every Spider-Man suit in this game looks realistic. So, I mean, like, that's kind of, like, a kind of needed, necessary thing for all these suits, but it's alright, I guess. I mean, like, the symbiote suits look way cooler, but this isn't bad. Moving on to the classic suit. It's a 9 out of 10. It's a classic suit. The styles are cool. You know, I prefer... Alright, so first would be... Yeah, honestly, this the third style is going to be first. First style is going to be second. Fourth style is going to be third. And then the second style is going to be fourth. I actually don't like this one. I feel like the blue is just... I don't know. It kind of just ruins it. <laughs> Alright. The Scarlet 3 suit. I'm not actually a big fan of this. Now, I like the Scarlet Spider suit. I don't know if those have any correlation to each other. But, I do know that this is a matter of fact of a 6 out of 10, easily. But, the styles do save it. The black and red for this one is really nice. The yellow, the goldish yellow, and the black for this suit is amazing. But, it's the fact that the belt still has that red part on it. If it was yellow... Easily, easily up there with one of the best styles, but nah. So I'm going to rank it this one, number one. Number two is going to be this one. Number three, this one. And number four, this one. All right, the advanced suit. All right, so I actually don't like the red on this. It looks kind of like a little too orange. Uh, it's not bad, but it's a seven out of ten. Obviously, the number one style is this one. Number two, this one. Number three, this one, and number four, this one. I don't know what they were cooking with this one. I don't... I don't know. Alright, the Kumo suit. I mean, it looks really creative. I don't know what the inspiration for it is, uh, but it looks really cool. Easily an 8.5 out of 10. The color palette for all of these styles are amazing. I definitely have to rank number one for this one. Number two is this one. Number three, this one. Number four, this one. Alright, the hybrid suit. This is Tom Holland's suit. Uh, I mean, like... 8 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, it's movie accurate. It's detailed. It's well done. Good color palettes. Alright. The amazing suit. Okay, I actually don't like this suit. Only because there's so much blue. But, I will say... The... Would you call it, like... The goggles? The shades? Like... It's not goggles, obviously, but, like, the eyes, the spider eyes, okay? 
uh, the glass, okay, it's different from every other Spider-Man suit, and that's what makes this suit, like, uh, kinda better, but there's just too much blue for me to like it, like, if it was, like, Miguel's suit, okay, you know, like, it, it just feels like it's, I don't know, <laughs> 7 out of 10. It's not bad, I like it because, uh, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man's pretty good, but, I don't know, I, it's just, I can't pinpoint what it is. I can say, though, the Amazing 2 suit is far better, but the eyes, they feel like a downgrade, honestly. <laughs> like, that's something the Amazing suit does better than, like, some of these suits with the eyes. I like the eyes a lot. But the suit for the Amazing 2 suit is an overall improvement other than the eyes. I'll give it a 7.5. Spider-Man 2099, uh, this suit is by far one of the best Spider-Man suits to be, uh, you know, made in comic book history. Easily at 10 out of 10, original, has a great origin story, great color palette. How I'd rank them is the first variant as number one, the second variant as number two. It just basically is in order, actually. <laughs> I'm not much of a fan of this, honestly. I never, I've never liked purple and blue as a color combination. That's just me personally. Alright, the Scarlet Spider suit. <clears throat> Easily one of the best suits as well. I like it. It's simplistic, but it's not too simplistic to the point where it's just super basic. Nice color palette. All of these color styles are good as well. Honestly, I'd rank them as they are. First, second, third, and fourth. Alright, the Superior Spider suit. So I actually really love this suit, okay? It's... All these variants have such a great color palette. But... Hmm. I, I don't know if I want to give it a 10 out of 10. I want to save the 10 out of 10s for the actual, like, suits that are 10 out of 10s. Like, is this a 10 out of 10 suit, guys? Let me know in the comments what your favorite suit is, by the way. Like, top 5 Peter suits and top 5 Miles suits. Uh... I'll give it a 9.5, only because, like... I actually haven't read any comic books or seen any, like, thing about Superior Spider-Man. I think it's where Doc Ock takes, uh, Peter's place as Spider-Man. But that's all I know, really. If I knew the origin story of this suit, I would, like, e instantly rank it a 10 out of 10. Like, only if I knew the comics. Like, I mean, the color palette's great, the detail in the suit is amazing. Uh, by look standards, it's a 10 out of 10, but only because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Moving on, though, the anti-ox suit. Alright, so this... Obviously, Spider-Man 1. Uh, it's an overall good suit. I will say, though, the white variant... Even though I've never worn this one, actually... It's a fucking great suit, okay? The fact that I got this during December, too... Like, if they had snow in this game... It would have blended so well in with the snow. <clears throat> if you guys ever seen the, the live action of G.I. Joe... Uh, Snake Eyes with his white suit, it just looks so cool because he was wearing the, uh, the Arctic jacket, and it just went really well with the white suit. And if you guys have ever seen Batman wear his white suit too, it's really badass. So, I want to say this one's a 10 out of 10, like, just this, like, I mean, like, the red's nice too, the red is really nice, and so is the original. The green, it's alright, it's like a 6.5 out of 10, but not compared to these three, so... Number one, number two, number three, number four. You know. First, second, third, fourth. Moving on to the Arch Knight suit. Easily a 10 out of 10. I love this because it takes inspiration from Moon Knight. Uh, but also kind of like a crusader in a way. <clears throat> All these color palettes are good. It would go first, second, third, and fourth. <laughs> it's just the same order. Alright, the Into the Spider-Verse Noir suit... Easily an upgrade from the first one. This one's absolutely amazing. The details and the animation on the suit is perfected. Uh, honestly, I might have to give this one an 11 out of 10, just because of how good it is. Yeah, easily an 11 out of 10. Alright, the homemade suit. This is Tom Holland's. This one's... Uh, I mean, there's better homemade suits. <laughs> Not a fan of this one. Spider-Punk. I gotta give it an 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, I feel like first, 
second, third, and then fourth. Alright, the Secret Wars Civil War suit. Uh, I haven't read anything about this suit, I don't know anything about it, but I will say that if he just had sleeves, it would make the suit ten times better. I don't know why he doesn't have sleeves, but first, second, third, and then fourth. It, it's The suit's overall probably like a six, maybe even a fucking 5.5 out of ten. I don't know why they just didn't give him sleeves. The Iron Spider Armor... Okay, so I actually really did like the Iron Spider at one point, like the actual comic book character. Uh, but the suit, I don't know what it is, but it, should, it maybe it's because it's too glossy or because, I don't know, there's something about the suit I don't like. But I'll say first, second, third, and then fourth. It's alright. Alright, the webbed black suit. Easily at 100 out of 10. This is probably... Ooh, top three, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know, like... I'll have to think about my... Actually, I know what my number one is for Peter, but... Uh, the webbed black suit is phenomenal. Alright, Sam Raimi did an absolutely fucking amazing job on the suit. This is what got me to like Venom originally, and like, as a kid, I was like, holy shit, this looks so fucking cool. This needs to be a suit for the rest of his career as Spider-Man. I remember just being, like, four-year-old me sitting out and watching this and just, like, amazed of how fucking amazing the suit was. Tobey Maguire, fucking 10 out of 10 job of, as Peter Parker and Spider-Man. He nailed the role. Great actor in general. All right. Web suit. It's classic. Uh, 11 out of 10. You know, obviously, the first actual, like, uh, is it the first actual? I think it's the first mainstream, uh live-action Spider-Man. We wouldn't be where we are now without the first, you know, mainstream live-action Spider-Man. So here we are. Web suit. 11 out of 10. It's great. The upgraded classic suit. It's alright. 7.5 out of 10. The new blue suit. I don't know if this takes inspiration from something. I haven't, like, you know, done anything, like, research on this suit at all. I don't know anything about it, but... I mean, like, it looks kind of basic. Like, this is, like, what too simplistic looks like. <laughs> I mean, like, it's... This is probably, like, the worst suit so far. <laughs> it's a 5 out of 10. I'd rank it, like, first, second... Third and fourth? I don't know. The upgrade suit. Tom Holland's. 8.5. Good design. That's all I really have to say. The stealth suit, it's okay. I mean, like, the stealth suit is pretty good. Uh, 8.5, I guess, as well. The classic black suit is fucking amazing, okay? And the reason why I say that is because, number one, these two references, this is Shattered Dimensions uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, I believe. And then this is just the classic Venom, like, from the original animation. And obviously, <laughs> the original symbiote, Peter. So, this has to be a 12 out of 10. Amazing. How I'd rank them is... It's actually pretty difficult to rank these because they're all so great, but I have to rank them just because of the references. First, second, third, and then fourth. But, yeah. Overall, great suit. The Iron Spider suit. This suit's alright. I mean, like, I have no hate against it, but 7.5, I mean... It's okay. It's not bad. But it's also not, like great that's about it <laughs> the new red and blue suit i think this is tom holland's suit after uh what the fuck is it far from home or is it no way home it's no way home okay uh this is from the ending of no way home this is no way home as well all right so this is a uh, 8.5 also 8.5 these are both great suits Alright, <laughs> the life story suit is by far the worst Peter suit out there. This is a fucking terrible suit. I don't give a fuck what anyone tells me the origin story of this suit. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> it's a fucking 4.5 out of 10. I mean, like, the astronaut, like, color palette kind of saves this one. This one's like a 5.5 out of 10. The rest of these are kind of just shit. 
I mean, I rank these all basically equally, the three of these, but this one's okay. All right, moving on to the best Peter suit, the last hunt suit. Who knew that, like, Peter with, like, a little bit of, like, I don't know, like, what would you call that? I guess jacket fur? It just looks so fucking cool. It's like he's a fucking boss, like the final boss. It's like, damn. I mean, he wasn't the one who killed Craven, but he was fucking, he could have killed Craven anytime he wanted to. Realistically speaking, with the symbiote suit, symbiote suit or not, I'm sure he could have killed Craven. But it's just really cool. Easily, honestly, 110 out of 10. Great detail, great color palettes on each and every style. Yeah. Final suit, saving live suit. I mean, like, it's alright. I mean, not really much of a fan of it. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's like a Power Rangers suit, but without, like, the glass, like, the full clear glass. It, like, imagine that, but instead they have the Spider Man eyes over it. I mean, like,. Yeah, I'm not just... Uh, I really don't like this suit, actually. It's probably like a 6.5. I'll give it that, because it's like... It's okay details, but... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's just put the last one suit back on. <laughs> Alright, moving on to Miles. The upgraded suit, it's a great suit. 10 out of 10. Iconic. Great color palette. How I'd rank these is... Alright, so... The original, number 1... Number two, yeah, honestly, yeah, this would be number two. The third style would be number two, and then the second style would be number three, third place, and then the final one, the uh, white and black and red, would be fourth. All right, the evolved suit. There's a lot of controversy on this one. People say it's just an Adidas collab. People say it's shit. So what I don't like about this suit is because it reveals his hair. Okay, if Say he's trying to hide his identity and he really cares about his identity. Why would he show his hair alongside like he it's not like he hides his voice at all. So not only is his voice there, but like say like someone gets a blood sample or, you know, gets his fingerprints somehow, they're gonna know who the fuck it is. <laughs> his voice, his hair, blood sample or fingerprints, like come on now. Uh but this suit if they somehow did something with his hair like they hit his hair easily it would be probably a 9.5 or maybe a 10 depending on what they did with the mask if they hit his hair i mean like i don't know what everyone else is likes about this suit the color palettes on these suits are great you know i guess like the shoes maybe aren't fitting for like these two but that's about it honestly maybe it's because I guess Insomniac and Sony wanted some money from Adidas just to plug in their shit, but it's not a bad suit. It's an 8.5 easily. I like it. It's just, you know, the hair identity thing. Moving on, the family business suit. <clears throat> it's alright. It's, I mean, like, it's simplistic, but also, I don't know. <laughs> it's alright. I think I like the Prowler one the best, obviously. Second place would be this. Third place would be this. And fourth place. Yeah. 6.5. The classic suit. I mean, this isn't. It's a little different, obviously, from the advanced suit or the upgraded suit, but there's nothing really wrong with it. It's still, honestly, a 10 out of 10. It's pretty good. First, second. Third and fourth. I feel like the white just kind of ruins it. <laughs> like, you have all of these suits, and I know they're trying to do something different because all of these suits all have, like, majority of them are black, and they just wanted to be different. But I don't know. The, the white just. It's the fucking light colors that just fuck it up. <laughs> it's just like that one Peter suit. This one right here. They just don't know how to make an actual good blue suit. All right, moving on though, the track suit. It's definitely a good suit. I like it a lot. First, second. Actually, second would be this. This is the first actual decent blue suit besides Spider-Man 2099. Damn, I never noticed how good this suit actually kind of looks. It's a great color palette, cotton candy colors. 
uh, but then second and third. The spider's kind of odd, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it looks good. All right. By the way, this is, yeah, 8.5. The Brooklyn 2099 suit is by far one of the best suits in the game. These two uh, color variants are kind of ass, I'm not gonna lie, but these two are fucking amazing. I mean, like, this kind of looks like a Tron reference, I'm not gonna lie, but that's alright. Nothing wrong with that. This is the first suit I wore for Miles, uh, that I actually wore, like, a lot. So, I'd say 8.5, maybe a 9, but not nah, 8.5, because these two variants suck. I mean, like, the orange and the gray look great together, but it's just the green and the gray? Not really. Sportswear suit? Uh, 8.5. I mean, like, it looks good. Nothing really wrong with it at all. Yeah. Alright, this shit again, bro. <laughs> this shit is ass. I mean, like... It might be better than Peter's because of the color palette. <clears throat> for some of these, but... Still, 5.5 for all of them. <laughs> They're all equally ass. I, I don't know, like, who the fuck designed these suits, but... Hell no. Someone needs to fucking comment and tell me the goddamn origin story for the fucking life story suit for Peter and Miles, because these are fucking terrible suits. I don't know why they wasted a spot for, like, another suit that could have been for Peter and Miles, but this fucking suit's ass. Alright, it's not just Miles, like I said, it's fucking Peter's. Peter's is worse. But. Miles Morales 2099 suit. This suit's fucking amazing. Alright, all four of these styles are great. The eye glow is badass. I like it. How I'd rank these is honestly one. So first, uh, second, maybe this one because it reminds me of the Miguel suit, the uh, the upgraded Miguel suit. Yeah, this would have to be second just because I think this might be an actual reference to that Miguel suit. And then third, fourth, the advanced tech suit. It's okay. It's not bad, but 6.5 out of 10. It seems too, like, mech-like. Like, it, it's like fucking carrying around, like, metal plates. That's really it. <laughs> it's alright, 6.5. The Shadow Spider Suit. I actually heard a lot of fucking, like... Uh, like, people don't like this suit. I, I don't know why. I heard a lot of complaints on this suit. I don't know why it looks fucking... Perfect. It's a 12 out of 10 by far. I mean, like, maybe it's because it looks too much like Batman, I guess. Not really, even. Like, the cape has the spider web theme. The mask looks fucking amazing. Every color palette for all the styles look great. Easily a 12 out of 10. Alright, the Miles Morales 2020 suit. This is a great suit. It reminds me of Daft Punk. The color palettes on all these suits are great. How I'd rank them is first, second, third, and fourth. Alright, the purple rain suit. Now this is an actual well done like metallic like suit. I do like both of these purples, but I'm gonna have to go with this one because it's more subtle. This one's okay. <laughs> this one's good. Alright, so first, second, third, and then fourth. Alright, the Bodega cat suit. <laughs> I wore this for a lot of the story mode, and like, there's so many like serious scenes, like Miles against Peter, and you can just see like the cat just like poking out of Miles' bag. Uh, how I'd rank them is first, second, third, and fourth. I wore this one the most. Alright, the Forever suit, this is a tribute to. Black Panther is actor. So easily, as you guys already know, 100 out of 10. Only because, like, not only because it's a tribute, because it's a fucking badass suit too, but it's it's a tribute. It's the fact that the origin for the suit is just a tribute that actor, like him as an actor, because he's an amazing actor, and he died at such a young age. It's so unfortunate. But easily, 100 out of 10. How I'd rank them is they're all equally great. I mean, like, Obviously, this one is the closest to Black Panther, so I'd rank this probably number one, but all these are probably second place. 
the tie. Now this is an actual good homemade suit. I actually like this a lot. This looks a lot better than fucking Peter's homemade suit. So it would go first. Damn, like these two are really like tied to be honest. These two might be like tied for second. <laughs> the blue does look really sleek though. I'll say that. But this is fourth only because I don't know. I just never liked track pants that were blue, to be honest. All right, the Into the Spider Verse suit, amazing, great animations, great reference, easily one of the best suits in the game. The Into the Spider Verse, uh, the costume suit. I mean, like I don't really know how to rank this. <laughs> Eight point five because it's a good reference, has its own individual animation. I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually used this suit personally because I use this one rather than this one, obviously, and a couple other suits, but. Still a good suit, nothing wrong with it. The end suit, I think this is a pretty cool suit. Uh, I'd have to give it a... 7.5, I mean like... I feel like the pants, like... I don't know. <laughs> just covering his shirt. Like, I'm so used to like Spider-Man's costume just being kind of like one hole. Or like... There's a jacket covering pants or something like that but it's kind of the other way around now I do like this one though it reminds me of the superior spider so first second third and then I don't know what the fuck this is the 10th anniversary suit this is a great suit easily one of the best suits that are actually made for miles so 11 out of 10 first second third fourth the programmable matter suit. Alright, the effects on this suit look cool and all, but I don't know. I guess like a 7.5 because it's cool detail and whatnot, but I don't know. <laughs> it's alright. They're all ranked equally. The strike suit. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The gauntlets on his arms look kind of like they kind of throw me off, to be honest, like, the whole suit looks cool, but other than that, like, the gauntlets, like, kind of fuck it up, to be honest. I don't know why they continue to add purple and red, like, it's not that good of a combination. Stop adding purple with red. <laughs> like, this is a prime example of why you shouldn't add purple with red, like, what the fuck is this? Uh, 6.5? Just because the gauntlets fuck it up. I mean, it kind of looks like he has, like... I don't know. <laughs> he just kind of looks like an action figure at this point. Maybe, like, the gauntlets have, like, a backstory and origin story that I'm not just looking into. It could be fucking really badass. Like, maybe some alien tech, like, attached to a suit. Kind of like Blue Beetle. The Asian the Shield suit. Nothing wrong with it. It's simplistic. It's This is what a good simplistic looks like. So how I'd rank it is, first, the second variant would be first, and then third would be second, and then the first one would be third, and this one would be fourth. Nothing wrong with any of these suits, they're just, you know, just color preference. The Great Responsibility Suit. It's a good suit, I like it, it's not bad. The back could use, obviously, a little bit more detail, but that's about it, 7.5. They're all good, I'd say equally the across the spider-verse suit 10 out of 10 uh, its own animations of course great color palette I like the uh, the comic book effect too I forgot to mention that for the noir suit for this you can see the comic book color palettes or dots but yeah the crimson cowl suit I'm not a fan of this one. <laughs> I, I mean, like, it's probably just the fucking the cowl that's throwing me off, like, the hood. That's it. Like, everything else is fine. Like, the color palettes on all these suits are great. It's just like, I don't know. The hood just kind of throws me off. That's it. 6.5 or 7. The best there is suit. Great reference. Great suit. Easily 9.5 out of 10. First. Second. Third and fourth. 
The Dark Ages Mile suit is fucking amazing. This is like... This was the first suit that caught my eyes, like, for all the Miles suit. This is an eye-catching suit right here, like, literally. <laughs> I mean, like, it has great detail, great color palette for all of the suits. Like, like the orange fading into, like, the red, kind of, or the more, like, orange-orange, like, brighter orange. Like, it looks fucking great. But I like this one the most. It reminds me of a Venus flytrap. Uh, so this would go first... Second, third, and then fourth. But yeah, easily my favorite Miles suit. The Absolute Carnage Miles suit is great as well. The detail for the suit is fucking amazing. Yeah, definitely one of their best suits for Miles. <clears throat> uh, 9.5. I like it a lot. First, second, third, and then fourth. The King in Black suit is also great. 9.5, I like it a lot. First, second. Honestly, this is one of the times where the green actually looks great. So, third, and then fourth. Alright. So, I don't want to pronounce this wrong again. <laughs> Just because, like, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. But, I mean, the origin story for this suit's pretty great. Uh, it was made by the community for him, so it was a gift. But it's a great flag. I like it a lot. <laughs> Obviously. You know. Great suit overall. I love it. It's the origin story that actually kind of carries it. It's a simplistic suit. But. It's great. Nonetheless. 8.5. Only because it's so simplistic. But the origin story is kind of carrying it. Alright. Smoke and mirror suit. I mean like. I actually didn't see this. This actually looks really cool. Alright, so the rest of these are kind of dog shit. <clears throat> this uh, style right here is carrying the fuck out of the suit. That's about it. Alright. The most dangerous game suit. Is this any different from Peter's suit? I think it has. Does it have a different color palette? It does not have a different color palette. I mean, like... Same ranking, honestly. <laughs> no difference. Alright, and then the city sound suit. It's a really cool suit, I like it. Very fancy. Easily an 11 out of 10. And that's it. That's every suit. So, for my top 5 Peter suits, number. Okay, number 5. I'll, I'll go from 5 to fucking number 1. Alright, number 5. I'm gonna have to give number five to the anti ox suit. I mean, like, it looks super cool. The neon lights are just, I don't know, like, the lights. I've never used this suit, though. Number four, the arachnite suit. Number three would have to be the Into the Spider Verse noir suit. Number two would be the webbed black suit. And then number one would have to be the last hunt suit. I mean, like, I could, like, swap... I might have to swap the anti ox suit, honestly, for the classic black suit. Only because I use this more. <laughs> but, yeah. Last hunt suit. Number one. For Miles, though! Alright, so, number five. I'm honestly gonna have to say City Sound Suit is actually number five. It looks great. I wore this for a little bit. It's a good suit. Number four is gonna have to be King in Black Suit. It's a great suit. I wore this for a little bit as well. Number three would have to be... Ooh. I do want to say the 2020 suit is really good. I like the suit a lot still. Number two... Uh, number two would have to be... Damn. It's a hard fucking question. Because... I don't know, does Miles have better suits than Peter? Huh. I never really thought about it. <laughs> I think that Peter has, like, more references I'm familiar with than Miles does. Because I know more about Peter than Miles. I'll say that definitely. 
Only because, like, I feel like there's more media out there about Peter currently than Miles. I mean, like, Miles was made later than Peter, so kind of obvious, but... Obviously, he does have the uh, Forever suit and the Best There Is suit. Black Panther and Wolverine, so, I mean, I know those two references, that's about it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, number two would have to be... I'm gonna say fuck it and go with the. Damn. It's a hard choice. Fuck. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm gonna have to go with the Spider Verse suit only because I like the color palette. It's nice. It's well made. The animations are great. Obviously, zone animations. Number one, easily the Dark Ages suit. Like I said. Amazing suit, great color palette, absolutely phenomenal, but yeah. So that's it. Uh, other than that, I guess I could say the top five fucking worst suits, uh, right here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, so, number five, a suit I didn't really like for Peter, obviously, is this suit. I guess I'd put that at number five. Number four would be this one easily. Number three would have to be the Scarlet Three suit. Number two, damn. Fuck it. Number two would have to be the fucking Secret Wars suit. Put some goddamn sleeves on this fucking outfit, please. And number one, easily the fucking Life Story suit. This suit is fucking ass. I don't care who designed it. <laughs> I don't care if my goddamn grandpa designed it. I don't care if my fucking my fucking law, long lost cousin or some shit or ancestor designed. It. I don't care if my fucking best friend or fucking anyone designed it, I know. I don't care if the goddamn fucking best Spider-Man comic, I don't care even if, like, fucking Sam Raby said, this is my favorite Spider-Man suit. No one's gonna tell me this suit is good. And the same goes for fucking Miles. <laughs> uh, Miles... I mean, Miles doesn't really have any bad suits, honestly. Other than, like, I guess the kind of, like, the repeating suits kind of like they all kind of follow the same thing like they're not bad it's just the fact that they kind of like repeat the same pattern and basically look ex like the exact same i mean like these two suits obviously look different so does this one but like they're kind of like the same design but then you have like these suits that are just the same fucking design but metallic <laughs> i'd have to say number five is for the worst suits this it's not bad it's just i don't personally like it number four Easily the Mysterio one. The smoke and mirror suit is fucking ass. <laughs> Does not suit Miles at all. Or Peter. It, it's, it's just fucking terrible as a Spider-Man suit. In general. Number three. It's kind of difficult because none of these suits are actually really that bad, like I said. Mm, number three would have to be... Oh, this fucking shit. Like, what... Again, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Insomniac, Sony, Marvel. Why do you guys pair purple with red so much? I don't care if they're fucking... Like, they're not even across the, uh, each other on the fucking color wheel. What am I talking about? I was about to say, I don't care if they're across the color wheel from each other. They're not. Like, they should have just made fucking red and green. I don't care. Actually, that jacket is kind of nice, but... It, it just doesn't go with the red. <laughs> and the purple camo, it's not tough at all. Like... These two suits right here, perfectly fine, alright? This suit's fine, too. It's just like, what the hell is this? This is like the fucking... The weak chain. Just that specific style, by the way. Just that specific style. There's nothing wrong with the rest of these. Number two... Damn, it's getting like more difficult to pick. like, Because, again, Miles doesn't really have that many. Okay, I guess... I wouldn't really rate this like number two... It's kind of like, this might be number five. I might have to, like, reorganize the fucking worst list. But number one, like I said, fucking easiest choice of my life to pick the number one fucking worst suit. The life story suit. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what the fuck the origin story for this. I don't care what it is. It's a fucking ass suit. It's terrible. I don't care how detailed and how realistic it looks. I don't give a fuck how many color palettes they make for this goddamn suit. They can make a hundred styles for the suit. And it would still be the worst suit out there. <sighs> 
but yeah. Oh, hell no, I have them both equipped too. <laughs> Fix that real quick. Alright, there we go. But, that is my opinions on the suits. Let me know what your favorite suit is and what your fucking least favorite suit is. Let me know who has the better suits, Peter or Miles. I personally think they're both fucking great suits. They both have, like, their uh, references and whatnot. And original suits as well. And let me know what you guys also think about the Evolved suit. I like it. It's, you know, the only bad thing is, like I said, it's revealing his hair. That's, like, the only bad thing. Like, if he cared so much about his identity. I don't know why he also said it's time for a Miles Morales original. I don't know if that was word for word. Uh, but still, I'm mean, like... Isn't these two suits literally a Miles Morales original as well? Either way, it's still a good suit, but I'm just saying, like, you know, these two suits were also a Miles Morales original, and I don't know why they decided to show his hair. That's about it. But yeah, like I said, let me know what your favorite suits are, your least favorite suits are, and what you think about the Evolved suit. But that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have an absolutely amazing day and a spectacular night, and as always, remember... Be greater! Together!